Welcome or welcome back to Sims for Seniors. We are on round 26 of our 52 Sims 4 challenges in 52 weeks. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a Sims 4 challenge. This week we will be doing the Fixer Up Challenge. Before we get to the rules, let's meet our house flippers Jack and Emily Carpenter. Jack and Emily met during their freshman year at art school. Jack is a charismatic and passionate painter and is well known for his vibrant landscapes and abstract art. Emily is a contemplative and imaginative writer. After graduating, Jack and Emily moved to the city to pursue their respective careers. Jack found success as a freelance artist and his works are gaining in popularity in local galleries and online platforms. His unique style, a blend of realism and abstract expression, earned him a dedicated following. Emily, meanwhile, has published her first novel, which was well received by the critics and readers alike. Despite their success, Jack and Emily yearned for a place that would not only be their home, but also a canvas for their creativity and a possible writer's and artist retreat. They stumbled upon a rundown, century-old house on the outskirts of the city. Most people saw it as a dilapidated wreck, but Jack and Emily saw the potential and character in the home. They decided to buy the house and turn it into their dream home, a project that would combine their artistic talents and love for renovation. Once the home is restored to a cozy and comfortable retreat, with the space for a growing artist community, they know that they have arrived. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end so you don't miss our Sims 4 tip of the day. I will be using mostly debug items so that when we delete them as we rehab the house, it will not add to their funds. They will start with $500. Now, let's take a look at the rules. The Sims 4 Fixer Up Challenge. The rules can be found on my website, simsforseniors.com. Our goal 
is to move a sim into the rundown house with the goal of fixing it up into their dream home. There is only one simple rule. The money needed to fix up the home must be earned and not cheated. We are free to add to any of our own rules as we are playing. There are other rules that I've read online, but they seem to overly complicate the challenge. You can download Fixer Uppers off the gallery. Um, I looked at a couple by UL, UL Rick 7 and there were some pretty nice ones there. I will also upload the one that you are seeing now that I built. Initial funds for your sim once moving in goes into the making the home habitable and to start work. It's advisable to get in the necessary items first like a bathroom, bedroom, and a place to cook. Once that is there, you can start renovating. Depending on the house, you will want to add any extensions first and then work on each room for them to complete. If the money runs out, your sim will need to make some more money. They could stay at home and paint, write, or garden. You could also send them to work in a profession available. Sims may declutter or get rid of up to 10 objects per day. Remember, you cannot make money from these objects. Your sim can dumpster dive for needed objects or funds to buy new objects. Each time the household funds reach 5,000 simoleons, the family can go on a buy build mode spree and spend enough to get as close to zero simoleons as possible. You can only visit buy build mode once each time you hit $5,000. You must initially furnish the house with the most inexpensive base level version of each item or object. You can then begin upgrading after that. Remove debris such as garbage, weeds, puddles, leaves, etc. Basically your sim can clean up anything they're able to handle by themselves in live mode. Fix and replace broken walls and windows, clean stains and repair cracks in the walls, delete gross wallpaper and decals in build by mode. Once the walls are done, you can move on to painting them and repairing the floors. The fixer upper challenge is complete when the home is clean, repaired, and has all the basic necessities met. For a bonus, landscape the lot as well. I will also be using lot challenges for additional fun and chaos. Additional info can be found at Snooty Sims for the original challenge and more tips and tricks are linked here. Let's take a look at our Fixer Upper. Let's see if I can scan out so we can see that a little bit better. It does have rough damage and needs a good new coat of paint. Let's take a look at the first floor. And here you have an entryway. This would be nice for a fireplace or a piano. Put a small kitchen back there. This might be nice for a fireplace. There is a front porch. And for now, our sims are going to be working out here because it is covered. We'll see how that works in the rain. Second floor would be a nice bedroom space. I bet we could put two bedrooms up here. Third floor. This is where Jack and Emily have decided to set up camp. Since the roof is still leaking, they're going to live in a tent. In their old apartment, they had a refrigerator and a microwave. They also scavenged some parts and did a DIY toilet, bathtub, shower, and a sink. There is space to expand upstairs in case they turn this into an artist community for a couple more bedrooms. Most of the furnishings I got out of Debug. So here is your Sims 4 tip of the day. If you type in Control Shift C, your cheat box will open up and you can type in testing cheats space true and it will tell you that cheats are enabled bb dot show hidden objects 
and BB dot show live edit objects. Now some of these objects cost zero, some do cost money. You know that you're in debug when you go down here and you just put in debug, click on any of them, and they will pull up all of the debug items. These include many of the items that you cannot find in the regular build by mode. You can also sort by different packs. For example, let's sort by Strangerville. There's a lot of good stuff there. And you see you can get the Strangerville plants, the toxic barrel, a lot of the splotches, grungy splotches. That are the only problem with debug is there's a lot there and you're gonna have to scroll through it like for example here's the saloon front so if you're looking for something unique go into debug I hope you've enjoyed this introductory episode to our rehab challenge and as always do the YouTube things like subscribe and have a great day.